When I was young, I used to paint houses. Didn't make much. But I donated $18 of my salary to Bernie Sanders. Every time one of his people texted me, what can I say? I'm a union guy. We were all union guys back then. Me, Tony Tex the Rich, Glasses Jean. Tony was from the Auto Workers Union, or what was left of it. These people get their cars from Japan, they get their cars from Germany. You want the guy to tell you to speak English, but what about your car? Don't you want your car to speak English? Glasses Jean was with the teachers' union. I said it once, and I'll say it again. Teachers do not get paid enough! Hey, one more time for the people in the back. And Vinny, Medicare for all, Medici. Oh! Vinny was a member of the Service Employees International Union. Nurses, janitors, security officers, food service. He's the one that got them all together under one union. Makes no sense, but he did it somehow. Healthcare costs are going up in this country, which means my pockets should be getting fatter, which they ain't. Big Pharma is out of line, you know? And me, I had a worse of all. I was a teamster, the truckers union. Look, I don't want to hear about it. I got five, maybe 10 years left. Oh, come on, Sal, don't say that. Goddamn self-driving robot trucks are coming. You can't negotiate with no robot truck. Robot truck ain't paying his dues. I can't threaten to break no robot truck's legs. Trucks ain't got no legs. Trucks got wheels. That's right. It's all capitalism, Sal. Capitalism extracts people's labor until the self-driving robot cars put them all out of work. Karl Marx saw Tesla's coming a mile away. <laughs> you know who Karl Marx is, Peggy? Hmm? She don't know. You see, that's why we need strong, union-run, free public colleges in this country. And whose legs do I gotta break to get universal health care around here? I ain't learning to code. Hey, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? The bread! It makes me mad! The bread makes me mad! Look. We all gotta focus, or we won't get our union numbers back up to where they used to be. We can't have a repeat of 2016. And high co-payments. 2016. The only good thing about that year was how much younger and more virile we all were. Medicare for all, single payer. Damn right, Medicare for all! This guy loves Medicare for all. You gotta make that your new nickname, Vinny. Hey, <laughs> this guy f***ing gets it. Everybody deserves health care. When I take a bat to somebody's head, they shouldn't have to worry about what it's going to cost them in medical bills, you know? Uh, Damn right! These rich people got the whole cake. That ain't fair. I should have a piece of that cake, you should have a piece of that cake, and if you got a piece of the cake, you're going to want to pay me to protect that piece of that cake. You got a piece of cake on you, kid? Hmm? We're going to leave in one second, honey. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Hey! You push my daughter. What? And you're backing an establishment shield. Look at Strong Sal! That is a young man in good shape stopping that other young man! Goddamn neoliberal! <clears throat> Hillary's backed by corporations! We thought we were headed for a political revolution. But things only got worse. What the hell happened to you? I had to talk to another one of our cabbies. Bastards driving for Uber. You believe that shit? Did you explain to him that the gig economy is interfering with our ability to collectively negotiate? Yeah! The gig economy is interfering with our ability to collectively negotiate. What the hell? Stop! Stop! What's wrong with you, mother I, I saw the gig economy coming years ago. I, I, I even tried to warn the bloggers. I don't know, I'm thinking about going bisexual. It might just help with my perspective. Oh my god, I think so too. Hey, 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 hey. 
You two are being screwed right up the keister, you know that? What? Yeah. You're being severely underpaid for your blocks. Considering the venture capital funding these guys are taking in. Oh, no, no, my parents pay my rent, so it's actually fine what they're paying us. What about her, huh? You think everybody's got a trust fund? I do. Most of us do. Okay. It still don't mean they should keep taking advantage and underpaying you for whatever it is. What do you do? I drink Bloody Marys in Brooklyn bars while watching classic episodes of Bewitched, then I review the experience. Pretty standard stuff. I write horoscopes for all the Real Housewives. They're so good. Well, you deserve a living wage for that. Whatever the f*** that is. A portion of which you share with me in exchange for protection. I know. I'm only in my late 20s, but I know what I'm talking about. How do, how do, how's it going up there? We're all fired. What? I told them we wanted to unionize, and they said, we're all fired. They already have a list of college grads ready to replace us. You told them that I brick legs, right? They said there's no way their angel investors would approve union wages, free health care, and a guaranteed pension. They said it's not economically feasible. You ruined our lives! <laughs> you bastard! I was real hopeful and real young. Only a few years older than my daughter Peggy. We just needed someone in the government on our side. And then me, me and the boys realized the only thing standing between B B Bernie and the presidency was CNN. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me! You see that? Yeah. You better tell your friends at CNN to stop being so mean to Bernie. Or else. Or else what? Or else. It is what it is. It is what it is? It is what it is. What, what does that mean? It means it is what it is. Right, honey? Why do they keep saying that? Hey, you keep talking to her, then it is what it is. Stop saying that! We don't want to say that. But it is what it is. You just said you don't want to say that. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Look at this. I'm dancing. I shouldn't be dancing, but I am. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. This went on for three and a half hours. Really great dialogue. Really great dancing. Eventually, Everyone died. Everyone but me. I'm all alone. Peggy never forgave me for backing Bernie over Warren. She hasn't stared at me in years. But it is what it is. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to click the little bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to support us, check out our website, wetheinternet.tv.